Good morning from Tiger Mountain outside Issaquah, Washington. This is Steve with my hiking buddy Gino. Morning. We're on the High Point Trail and we're heading over to our left to the Tiger Mountain Trail and then on to Murat's Bridge where we're going to have a little bit of a remembrance uh, ceremony up there. So we're doing the loop. Started out at uh, the Tradition Lake parking lot at 6 a.m. A couple cars in the lot, Gino. Yeah. And then uh, there's a running event going on across I-90 at Grand Ridge Park. So we've seen a lot of cars coming looking for parking already. Uh, so we'll see how it is on the way out. But uh, we're going to be at the bridge in a little bit, and we'll check in there, and I'll fill you in on what we're doing. Thanks for hiking with us. So we're on Murat's Bridge and uh, we want to do a little bit of remembrance today. Uh, a year ago today my dad passed away and uh, a couple weeks later Gino's dad passed away. And uh, also last year my friend Nick who uh, has hiked up here before with me, not to this point, but he's been up at Tiger with me, his dad passed away. And uh, wanted to remember my dad and then I suggested to Gino we remember his dad and then I thought of Nick and his dad and uh, wanted to th uh, do something there. So Nick, I know you're not with us, you're back in Boston, but you're here in spirit only. But uh, wanted to light some candles for him at Murat's Bridge, which is a memorial to young Murat. As you saw down at the end, he died at the young age of, I think it's 33. But uh, I'm gonna be quiet here for a second. So we're going to let the candles burn for a minute and we're going to take a short break and then I'll uh, pick up filming in a minute. This is the first of two smaller bridges past Murat's Bridge. Take you with me. Good to hear some water flowing this morning. We kind of hit another dry spell here. When Gino and I hiked this earlier, uh, well, about a month ago or so, there was no water. Now there is a little bit. And you can see the channel there in the winter months. Uh, this thing flows a lot more than this, but uh, And then we're gonna go this way and hit the second bridge in a minute So you cross over a small little ridge and then you come down to the second bridge which looks a lot like the first bridge Although this one we think it took a hit at some point. It's got a definite tilt uh, tilts to my left here. Definitely uh, quite a tilt. So, and it took a hit here because they've replaced the boards. Gino, do you think this thing took a hit at some point? It must have. To knock it on its side like this? 
No water flowing here, buddy. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I was going to mention, we had a uh, big windstorm last weekend. A lot of people lost power. Neither of us did. And uh, we, we hiked Wednesday up at Squawk Mountain, and the trail there was pretty clear. Nothing really down on the trail, a little bit of small stuff, but uh, we've noticed today, especially from that stretch uh, right before I started filming on High Point and then up to the bridge, Muritz Bridge, tons of stuff down and a tree we had to go over over there. So anyway, it seems like this area got hit a little harder than Squawk, but uh, just a little factoid for you there. Anyway, we're on our way up to the high point of this section of the trail called Sally Saddle, and we're going to take a break there. We'll check in in a while. We've reached the high point of our trip today, Sally Saddle, a little over 1,400 feet elevation. We're on the Tiger Mountain Trail. From here, it's all downhill to the parking lot, and we're going to take a break. Have some snacks and some water and some uh, leftover Halloween candy. So we'll check in on the way down. We got a nice view out uh, to the northeast here on the way down the hill. So I'll take a shot there. Haven't seen anybody yet. Don't think we will. Uh, this is a trail popular with runners. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a running event going on uh, across the freeway today. So I think everybody's going to be over there. So we'll check in on the way to, back to the parking lot. I mentioned some uh, views that open up on the way down. You can hear I-90 down below us. We're heading down the hillside back toward uh, the parking lot. Uh, boy, this this part of uh, Tiger Mountain really had some, sustained some uh, damage. There's all kinds of trees down. Luckily, there's been a tree crew in here that has cut them all up, but uh, the cuts are real fresh. So uh, we're very fortunate. We'd be uh, climbing over a lot of trees today but uh, and a lot of little debris down. But that's kind of the views that open up on the way down. Um, I believe that's Grand Ridge over there. Well, we'll check in one final time before we get to the parking lot. So far, no hikers. Gino, do you think we're going to see anybody? Uh, probably not. I don't think so either. Beautiful day, though. Clear skies, sunshine, and traffic noise down on I-90, and traffic noise with the sound of jets above us. We'll check in later. Hey, this is Steve checking in one final time. We're approaching the parking lot, last uh, section of the TMT before hitting the main trail into the parking lot. But uh, hey, I wanted to thank everybody for joining us on this uh, special hike. Remembrance hike, as I'm calling it. Wanted to pay tribute to my dad and Gino's dad and Nick's dad. We love them and we miss them. And uh, they taught their sons the love of the great outdoors. And that's, uh, they were all great men and I wanted to remember them today. So thanks for, for going along with, for, with, with us for that. Uh, we've seen four hikers, two we crossed paths with on the cable line, and then two on this trail. Uh, ironically enough, a father and son out for a run. So we talked to them for a little bit. So we are having a stretch of dry and cool weather. No rain in the forecast and sunshine and blue skies. So Gino suggested, and I have agreed, that uh, this coming Wednesday, we're going to head up, we're going to be back over here, and we're going to do our big loop up to West Tiger 1, West Tiger 2, and West Tiger 3. Uh, 1 and 2 we have not been to. Oh, I take that back. We have been to 2. Anyway, we haven't been to 1 since the logging occurred up there. So with the clear skies and sunshine, I think we're going to have some great views. It's a big loop hike, but uh, we're looking forward to it. As soon as Gino mentioned it, it got us all jazzed up. So a couple runners coming by here. Morning, guys. Good morning. Have a good run. So that's what we've been on. The Tiger Mountain Trail went out to High Point. Now we're heading back right here through the gate to the parking lot. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to take a video Wednesday. If we're going up there, uh, should be some fantastic views. Like I said, we've been to three and two since the logging operation occurred, but we haven't been over to one. And uh, quite a big loop we go on. We go way to the east, almost over to Preston before heading up uh, to West Tiger 1 and then coming back through 2 and 3. So, anyway, there will be a video posted on Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed this one. Again, thank you for, for joining me on this special hike. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.